Macau is very much an underserved destination. Uh, it's been a, a sleepy hollow for, for many years with a, a limited kind of supply of attractions, but there's enormous infrastructure development and investment coming into Macau now, and it's creating a new Macau with many reasons for people from all over the world to come and visit Macau. So the opportunity set that we see for Viva Macau and our business there is to put Macau on the map as a global destination uh, and to work hand in hand with a, a bunch of business partners who are also similarly investing heavily in Macau. Australia will be the first long-haul uh, destination to Macau on a direct basis. So we're very excited to, uh, to be able to launch that and be the first to do that. Uh, we launched in Australia a few weeks ago now commercially and we were completely overwhelmed with the public, the uh, trade, the travel industry trade and the media response to the announcement of our flights. Direct flights to Macau, where the opportunity we see is uh, to bring it, uh, Australians to a new destination for them, and by their nature it's something they're very interested in. Um, our early load factors uh, are showing that that's very much the case. There is uh, a great deal of interest. Our early bookings have been very, very encouraging. Um, so we look forward to marketing Macau and putting Macau on the map as a destination for Australian visitors. Uh, I think uh, there are other business interests that have been significantly investing in Macau over the last few years and there is some knowledge of Macau and Macau has been getting some media exposure so I think we were able to tap uh, and benefit that little bit but uh, Australians not unlike people in this region are very good travellers and uh, they like to travel the world. For the Macanese, as I said, the first true long-haul destination from them directly served from Macau. So we offer them the ability to get to Sydney directly from Macau at a very attractive airfare or at a very attractive package, but also through the broader Guangdong province and the neighbouring uh, Macau region where there's a significant population base also is using Macau as a gateway to visit Sydney and Australia. Viva is only seven months old and uh, it, there is a business plan obviously to, to return, to make a return and deliver profits to the shareholders. Uh, our business plan uh, shows us making a profit only in the second year of operation um, and we expect to be at break even point somewhere around the 12 month mark which is towards the end of this year for Viva and at the moment uh, we're on track to achieve that.